Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do something I've wanted to do for quite a while, which is um, we're going to swatch this. It's about 80 half pan handmade watercolor palettes. So I am really excited to showcase these shops and these artisans. They work so hard on creating these beautiful colors for us. So um, yeah, and I also wanted to just thank you for supporting these shops. So a, a lot of... Um, you know over 2020 this may have been their only stream of income so it's been really a joy to um, know that you guys are enjoying these shops and um, yeah so thank you for that as well so you can see here I'm just kind of showing my regular kind of palette that I use on the on the channel and you can see that I really do love to put together palettes so and I do get questions on you know whether you can mix brands and I always mix brands um, you can see that through the palettes but unless there's a particular thing that you are really you know focused on like um, transparent colors or you know tinting strength or something like that they're really you know there's really an opportunity there to create a beautiful palette from a lot of different brands that are available um so yeah and and even within brands there's different opacities and things like that so it's not necessarily going to be a given if you just stick with one brand that you'll get all the same type of uh, watercolors you know some are easier or more difficult to re-wet and things like that so um but yeah you can see here that what i'm doing what i always do when i start when i sit down to start to paint is just get my paintbrush and just um I don't usually have to do every color in the palette I just usually do the ones that I am working with um, but I just get my paintbrush and put a drop of water on to help to start to reactivate those colors and you get a more um, saturated color when you um, go to use them so so the first color that we have here is a Winsor and Newton color this is Potter's pink just a beautiful muted dusky pink so this is a really nice one to uh, mix with other colors to kind of mute them and yeah it just creates really beautiful granulating effects as well in your paintings and so there are a couple of these colors that are like commercial ones so I've either taken them out of other palettes or they were kind of um, extras or something so that was one and then this is also uh, the Daniel Smith Quinn Rose so and you'll see here and I've just kind of put them in here because I took them out of somewhere else and I didn't really have anywhere you know that I needed to put them um, but yeah so this is um, this one here is actually a really beautiful one this is beam paints so she creates plastic free paints and um, actually they're doing a sale this weekend so it's buy one get one free with free shipping so really an incredible sale and um, this color's cherry so this was also a freebie in an order so they often will put a little freebie in which is really nice as well so this one here is the Rivervale watercolors Quinn Rose off Etsy and she was actually the first handmade watercolor shop that I tried and I was hooked I really really loved uh, what she created and I have like a whole kind of palette uh, pretty much with her things in it and so this one here is a Nibs handmade watercolors so she has a beautiful shop as well on Etsy a lot of sparkle and neon colors so you'll see quite a few of those here and I really love her shop as well that's a scarlet that was a holographic red and then this one here is from Rivervale again this one is the Ruby Mica so it goes on it's got like kind of a shift from like this um, like a deep brownie red to a really beautiful ruby red so I'll show you that So this next one is another one from Rivervale Watercolors. This is her Pyrol Red, which isn't often in stock, but I just started collecting a couple from Greenleaf and Blueberry, which you'll see in an upcoming haul, and they have a Pyrol Red, which I'm sure is a really beautiful one as well. So um, their colors are also stunning. So 
that'll be coming up but this one here is a uh, another bean paints one so this is their strawberry red again I just I love their aesthetic I love their packaging um, I think the sale that they're having at the minute is because they're transitioning back from these um, so they had these these were kind of the initial ones that they did and then they went to um, like paper wrapped in paper cotton paper and then and then they're going back to the wax um, wax paper as well so yeah beautiful beautiful um, paints this one here is um, from nibs again this is the air color like Jane Eyre so uh, just a really stunning it's kind of like a quin pink with a little bit of a gold shimmer in it just a really delicate and beautiful color Okay, so this is one of my favorites as well. This is Peach Pop and this is by Little Reverie Studio. So it's kind of like a semi-neon uh, shell pink type of a color. So yeah, really pretty one. I know you guys love this one as well. It's sold out quite a few times in her shop. And she just did come up with a, a new, like a, a hot pink, kind of an opera rose pink, which is Begonia, which I did miss out on. I, I'm assuming some of you guys got it, but... Um, yeah, hopefully she will restock that. And then, um, so this one, these ones are from another shop called KJ Designs by Karen on Etsy. And you can see how beautifully these ones re-wet. I don't even put um, water on these ones because they just re-wet to the touch. They're really, really lovely. Um, this one, I actually can't remember the name, but um, I will find that and link it or uh, pop it on the screen if I can. Um, this one here is one of my ones so I was making some watercolors last year and then I will be making more but um, I think the next update is actually going to be a giveaway so with the landscape class which I'll talk about kind of at the end I'm thinking rather than um, doing a shop update I'm just going to do a giveaway of maybe five or six different sets or souffle palettes and things like that um, because I just I just aren't able to get uh, the whole like shop update done um, quite yet so yeah um, but yeah uh, so but you can get like neon pinks from nibs or um, like azalea is the nibs one and yeah you can kind of look that up as well but so this is another one from KJ designs by Karen and this is her melon color Again, it's just another beautiful uh, soft pink with a shimmer and yeah her colors are just really lovely I also it's not in this palette but I really love bezel from her shop if if you're um, getting stuff from there so this one here is another bean paints one this is morning peach just a really gorgeous kind of muted um, peach type of a color so I really enjoy using these to kind of 
ground some of the like you, you know you don't want to do the whole painting in kind of sparkles so I often like will try and mix and match and ground them with um, some more muted colors um, yeah we'll talk about that a little bit more but this one here is from another shop this is TCW so the cliffs at Watertown watercolors I think um, and I'll link these shops below but um, this one is her sandy beach so it's kind of like a like a softened gold it's it's really pretty uh, and then this one here is the beam paints gold so this is more like an antique gold and then they also have dreamers gold which I did get in the sale and yeah I will show you those in a, in a haul soon as well So this one is a really stunning one as well. This one also rewets to the touch and and she just does five or six different colors I think. So um, she doesn't have a website anymore but you can um, email her and I'll put her email below. So this is from Paint and Paper Studio and you can email Zandra and again I'll put that below. But um, yeah she just does some really beautiful colors. And then this one here is just one of my ones as well. So a good um, kind of substitute for this one would be the Shell Harp Light from Earth Mineral Arts which I have also I think it will be in like um, maybe my, like one of my last top five favorites videos so this one here is uh, from Colors of the Iron Range this is the um, Dioxine Yellow and unfortunately I don't think like her shop hasn't been opened um, and yeah no one can really get hold of her so um, yeah but she just made such beautiful colors so this one here is from uh, Little Reverie Studio again this is the lemon drop so just a beautiful kind of a sparkly lemon yellow um, yeah and so this one here let's see <clears throat> This one is zirconium yellow. Again, I think this one was from Colors of the Iron Range. So, yeah. Some of these um, green leaf and blueberry and stone ground paints, they're two shops I've wanted to try out for a, a long time. And I have recently just got a couple, which again, I'll show you. But um, they, yeah, I cannot recommend their colors enough. They're so, so beautiful. Um, so you might find similar colors in their shops as well. So this one is from Little Reverie and this one is the lemon, her lemon yellow. And then this one here is from Nibs. It's the neon yellow and it's Moonbeam. So I really love this uh, neon yellow. So this one here is from a shop called The Ocean Paper and you could see that the um, French Vermilion and the Fire Coral were also from um, her shop and again just a really beautiful neutral like you can see it's kind of got pink undertones so yeah a really lovely one to like mix with things as well. Um, and then we have I think this one oh this is uh this is Mocha from let's see from so this is mocha from white nights and yeah again just another really beautiful creamy kind of uh, creamy kind of neutral so yeah again I, I really love like um, I have a video on neutrals and I really love kind of pretty neutrals and things that um, mix well with other things so um, this one is from nibs and let me just check here. This is the Nefertiti. So it's kind of like a copper color. Um, yeah, you can see like how 
luscious these like all these kind of neutrals will look together they don't just look like a kind of a, a boring brown so that's what I really uh, enjoy and then this one here is another one by paint and paper studio so you would need to email Zandra this is her sun gold and every time I use this one I always get a lot of questions and comments how much you guys love this so um, this is it's kind of a more luxurious version of like the Daniel Smith interference gold um, and that you'll see like several things on the channel of like how to use interference colors um, in the last kind of January favorites mixing one I also show there you can put that over the top of darker colors uh, so this one here is from um, KJ Designs by Karen again and this one is her bronze color so again you know just beautiful colors So this one here is by Nibs and this is Safina, um, a really beautiful kind of green gold color. And then we have another one by KJ Designs and this is uh, her lime color. So and you can see as well when I'm doing the swatches. So there are a lot of different ways to do swatches and I think you'll find that as you um, do swatches and you start to become familiar with your paintbrush and your paper and how the water moves on them this is such a really nice way to start to learn how to control watercolor and in my swatches I'm not really looking for perfection I'm more looking for how the color moves on the paper how um, how I can get the like the value shift um, you know the, the mass tone on the left there and then I kind of um, blend it out with water to get a gradient and I'm kind of just looking for um, yeah those differences in value and um, how the paint settles on the paper as well and things like that so you know how it looks when I can um, put water back into it and things like that so the one we just missed the neon one that was kiwi that was by nibs and this one is also by Nibs. This is one we collaborated on. So I have a video about these colors, but this one is Meadow. So um, just like this is like my perfect mint green. I really, really love uh, how she created this. So we went back and forth and um, yeah, she came up with just this stunning, stunning color. So with a little bit of shimmer. And then uh, I hope she puts that back in her shop because it's, it's so nice. And then this one here is... Uh, Daniel Smith Fuchsite which was one of my first watercolor tubes I ever bought and I still really love this color um, you can see there that it's like a cooler version of a kind of a mint green it's got a little bit more blue in it and then this one here is Little Reverie this is her Aurora so this is very similar to the Daniel Smith Duochrome Lapis Sunlight but again just a more luxurious version I think because the um, like the these small batches they're more pigment to binder ratio so you get more pigment in them so they just they just have a little bit more coverage a little bit more um, yeah just really beautiful so this one here is actually a gouache this is the Royal Talons silver and just a little bit it's like a little bit of starlight on your painting so this one here is one of my favorites. This is uh, Katia by Nibs. It's just this really, really gorgeous kind of champagne gold kind of taupe um, yeah, color with a holographic sparkle. I really, really love it. You can see that it's got like a little heart in there. But um, this one here is a little quarter pan from TCW. So... Um, the cliffs at Watertown and this one is her queen and it's just a beautiful holographic sparkle and it's just for like putting a little bit of shimmer over the top of parts of your um, watercolor but I actually just really love having um, 
So this one and another one I'll show you. I just love having them in the palette. They're very inspiring. So um, this one is another Bean Paints one. This is a very cool grey and it's their slate. So I really enjoy this one. It's a little bit like the Wallace and Seymour Citadella grey schist that I really love. And yeah, you can see here like it's got a little bit of granules in it and just a really beautiful one. So um, this is a type of colour that you can start with a neutral if you're not sure like how to mix one or something like that. You can start there and add a little bit of colour to it as well. So go the opposite way. Rather than muting a, um, a colour, you can actually add colour to a neutral. So this one here is the Wallace and Seymour Sasso Rosso. And you can see it doesn't have a very high tinting strength and it is a little bit hard to re-wet but it just has this beautiful like the granules in it so it's not granulation but it's actual granules of pigment and I just absolutely love it I love contrasting that with the shimmer like you can see kind of the copper there and then that and it sort of grounds um, those shimmer colors and then um, so that one was uh, hematite and magnetite again from Colors of the Iron Range which I think that Greenleaf and Blueberry has something similar and then this one here is the Royal Talons gouache and this is warm grey so yeah you can see that I do quite um, enjoy having a couple of different greys there as well to work with so So this is the other one that I said I really enjoy just having in my palette. This is from TCW um, uh, Paints and this is her Alter Ego 2.0 and it's a holographic black so it just looks stunning. I can't, I, for some reason I can't really capture it on um, the camera but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, those two holographic ones from her shop are just so inspiring to open the palette and just kind of see them sitting there so this one here is from um, Julia K designs I think so, um, and this is her praline series so she made a series that looked like little chocolates and this is the sten so um, it's this beautiful kind of granulating brown color um, but it also you can see like so I also really love the colour that she's drizzled on top, this kind of, um, yeah, just that really beautiful colour, I'm not sure, but it, and it also creates this really nice colouring to the sten. And then this one is a Roman Schmalz one, it is titanium grey, and I really love the Roman Schmalz paints, so especially they're so affordable and it's such a good way to start a palette um, of artist grade watercolors if you are just beginning uh, yeah they have some really beautiful colors so this one here is the uh, Daniel Smith Lapis Lazuli and I really love you'll see how this one dries it is so beautiful the granulation is really stunning um, this one here is Windsor and Newton Cerulean Blue the red shade so yeah, again a, a really beautiful classic color and you can see in my palette that I don't really have many of the like royal blue, like ultramarine type colors. Um, I really love viewing those. Like, so this is another one of the Nibs ones. This is um, the ones that I collaborated on. This is Love in a Mist. Um, but yeah, I really love like seeing other artists use those colors. And just, it's just, they're just not necessarily ones that I gravitate towards when I am creating. So this one is KJ Designs and this is Cambridge. Again, it's just a really beautiful, uh, like a sparkly kind of soft blue. Um, but yeah, so that, that's something that I always kind of want to stress on the channel. I don't want 
I mean, I'm just kind of showing you a place to start and there's no right or wrong. You know, when I first started watching watercolour videos, um, quite a few, you know, maybe five or six years ago, there wasn't a lot on YouTube, but the people that were on there were kind of saying, if you don't use this palette, you'll never be an artist. And I just think that's such a wrong um, idea about, you know, your palette it should be something that you sit down and you really really enjoy using um, so this one's a handmade one that I created um, but the one that before that that was uh, Eternal Summit by Isero and I love that name and just the color it's like when the sky is kind of really vast on like a clear like day and just really beautiful so it's such a lovely imagery but um, this one here is see little reverie this is wisteria so but yeah what I was saying was I you know I always want you guys to feel like um, especially for me like when I sit down to paint it's a little bit of a respite and it's something that I just really enjoy and that's how I want um, you know your palette to feel for you so yeah so um, this one here is the uh, another Roman small one this is lavender and yeah just a really beautiful I think it's also similar to like the Daniel Smith lavender um, kind of a lavender blue and then this one is another one similar this is little reverie bibbity bobbity blue and both of these I really love mixing these with like some of those browns like um, if you're just starting out with a palette, this Roman Schmalz Lavender mixed with like the um, White Knights Mocha make really, really beautiful uh, type of uh, mixes. And yeah, so this one here is, uh, okay, that's um, false alarm. This one here is the, um, another Bean Paints one. This is a really beautiful one they do. This is Robin's Egg Blue. So this is a kind of a holographic turquoise. This is by Nibs and this is called Loki. So obviously named for the Avengers, but just a really beautiful color. This one here is um, Windsor and Newton. It's the Cobalt Violet Light. So you'll see in a minute, I'll swatch the Daniel Smith version, which is a lot more granulating. So it's also interesting that like between the brands you could get um, a more or less granulating version depending on what you're looking for sometimes a more opaque version uh, this one here but I really love the Windsor Newton version there this one here is the Win, um, Little Reverie and it is Lilac Lullaby so just a really uh, soft pretty um, shimmery lilac and then this one is the uh, again Little Reverie and this is the lovely lavender and the really nice thing about her shop as well it's very very affordable a lot of these shops the colors are very affordable even for like a full pan here um, some of the shops it's so this one is the Daniel Smith uh, cobalt turquoise um, but yeah some of the shops shipping is a little bit more expensive so um, let us know in the comments because I mean I can only try so many shops and um, but if you and I'm always getting questions like um, do you know of you know places in this country that um, are uh, you know a, a good shop and I don't know all of them so if you guys let us know in the comments um, what your favorite shop is and then maybe like a really nice shop in your area and let us know what the area is so that people can kind of look down and say you know I'm in Canada and here's you know someone really likes this shop or you know I'm in uh, Australia or the UK or um, Europe you know and there's different um, shops so I've found that there are quite a lot of uh, really nice shops that you can find you know all um, all around so this one here is the 
um, the the ocean paper and it's the stone ochre so again you can see like they do these really beautiful um, neutrals and then this one here is the so this is one of my favorite um, ever my favorite mixes it's the Potter's Pink the Winsor & Newton Potter's Pink with the Daniel Smith pearlescent white so it makes this really gorgeous kind of champagne pink color I really love it and then this one is a nibs one this is called Madrid and you can see that it's a little bit similar in this kind of dusty pearly pink uh, range yeah really lovely <laughs> Okay, so this one here is another one of my favorites from Nibs. This is Copenhagen, and it's sort of like a cobalt violet mixed with like the Daniel Smith and Pearl White or something like that, or the Interference Lilac. Um, and then before that, we had the Neon Purple that was Passion Flower from also from Nibs. And then the one up in the top left corner, that is Tahitian Treat from tcw and that is um just watching that again now that is a very similar one to my red that i do so um this one here is the another one from little reverie this is the lunar flower so again just a really soft um pale uh kind of lilac -y lavender color and i really like mixing these with um, you know the browns and the neutrals to get just really beautiful dusky colors so yeah <laughs> Okay, so again, thank you so much for your support for these shops. Uh, it means so much to them and I really appreciate it. And um, let us know, you know, your favorite shop, where you're from and so people can find other um, shops near them. 
and then the other thing was this is um, little bits of footage from the landscape class so I've nearly finished editing all the footage and then I've just got to do the voiceovers and sort of get that finished and um, yeah what I'll be doing with the um, watercolor so I won't be making a batch for March but I'll make be making some freebies for the course as well because it's the, the um, three year anniversary for the channel in March so I um, I think I started I think I started the channel 2010 March or what am I saying the 10th of March 2020 so yeah um, and yeah so thanks for not I, I saw my last video I put um, art hall of 2022 which is actually 2023 but yeah um, hmm, just that's that's how it is but uh, yeah, so I will be doing like a giveaway for, and, and it will be international because um, it's not from a shop, so it's a gift, so I can ship internationally. So everyone will be included and invited into the giveaway as well. So yeah, that's something um, to look forward to. And the other thing I wanted to say as well is if you are, um, you know, just starting out a, um, a palette, you can get something like Daniel Smith Pearlescent White and mix it with quite a lot of your colours and then you will have a lot of these different shimmer colours as well. So I think that's everything guys. Have a really lovely week and I will see you in back here in two Saturdays and hopefully it will be closer to launching the class. But um, yeah, have a good week. Uh, bye.